Hey guys, it's Talia, welcome back to my channel. Um, oh my god, why can't I do this anymore? I've been not doing it for so long that I can't do it! Ah. Hey guys, it's Talia, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm uploading regularly. Who dis? Who, who dis new person? Uh, it's me, Natalia Jakes. Go follow my Instagram, go follow my Snapchat. Uh. Yeah, subscribe. <laughs> this video is a very, 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 very exciting video and I'll tell you why. I've been getting sent a lot of PR packages um, over the last two, three weeks, maybe last month. Um, I've collaborated with Coco Locks, I've collaborated with Lash Feed, um, I've got a new collaboration coming up and this one is my recent one. Oh, and also Dodo Lashes. Um, but this package that I've been sent is a really recent one and I got sent it about three days ago. I've literally not, I've not been able to wait. <laughs> Today's video, I am filming a Thin Lizzy review. Thin Lizzy has kindly sent me a package of their, some of their new bits and bobs. And honestly, when I saw this in the post, I was so happy. I've opened it, swatched everything, and yeah, but I've not used it on my face and this is what this video is going to be for. First impressions, Thin Lizzy. Yeah, let's get right into the video so I can show you exactly what they sent me. So this is the box and very much how beautiful is this? It's very sleek, it's like matte finish, uh, baby pink. And then on the top it's got a rose gold foil um, name on it. So it says Thin Lizzy, Correct, Perfect, Enhance. And Thin Lizzy is the brand name. I'll put the Instagram here, go follow them, they're amazing. Such a lovely team, and um, the people that were emailing me, uh, they're just an amazing, they're so lovely. But this packaging is beautiful, look at this, this is magnetic, it opens up all the way. Such a cute little PR package, so this is what I saw when I first opened it, and I literally screamed. I opened it like this, and this is what I saw inside. First thing is this, and it's a little postcard thing, and it says, Hey Natalia, enjoy your goodies, welcome to the hashtag TL squad, Thin Lizzy PR. I mean, I knew I was, they were sending me some bits, like one thing, I thought they were just sending me a foundation to try out, I didn't know I was going to be on the PR list, and when I literally read this I was like, hun, they literally made my day. And then I got this, which is just a little leaflet explaining everything that they sell, and they sell a lot. <laughs> Go to the website and check everything out. So then it's literally got little pink paper and look how much I got sent like I was literally expecting like the foundation and it's a big range of things as well so I'm gonna go through these one by one and explain to you what they are what they look like the packaging stuff like that and then I'll get into the makeup part the first thing I'm going to show you is this this is the Thin Lizzy Flawless Complexion Blending Sponge this one's in the colour orange and it's so cute it's really soft and obviously when you put water on it it's going to expand you can tell just by feeling it it's going to expand when you put water on it so that's amazing it's looking brighter on camera than it actually is it's more like a coral orange than an orange orange but yeah, I can't wait to use that. I'm gonna do this. This is the Flawless flawless Finish Blush Brush. The packaging is clear, it's got the little label on, it's got the um, logo on, um, but the actual brush itself is rose gold. Oh my God, I hadn't felt this. It feels really nice, it's kind of heavy. This top bit's quite heavy, the bottom is cute. It's got a little handle thing for like you can put your fingers. It's really, really soft, honestly. This is the Sweet Face Blush Trio. And the packaging, look, they, they put so much thought into the packaging and you can really tell, like, it's really come out. Like, all the information's on there. It's It literally looks like something you'd get from Too Faced. And the packaging is sleek, white, amazing. I can see this in my makeup collection. It does have a little guard on it. And these are the three blushes. From here to here, we have strawberry cheesecake, raspberry ripple, and peaches and cream. And look how gorgeous they are. Um, these two are a little bit more shimmery than this one. I feel like this is a really, really like everyday one. It's like a corally. This one's more brown and this one's more pink. So I feel like they've got one for at least every skin tone. The packaging is exactly the same, which is really nice and uniform. I think it's so cute. 
and amazing. Um, I'm going to talk about the foundation first. So the Thin Lizzy Flawless Complexion Liquid Foundation and it has gold shiny packaging. This is the foundation. You get fluid ounce in it which is average for a foundation. Um, this is the shade 04 Duchess and I actually ordered, obviously it's online so it's not easy to pick your colour range if you've ordered online before. It feels really nice actually, it feels like a really silky um, texture, like I think it's really cute how it's a uh, squeezy tube like that but then you can pump it out so it still pumps, you're not squeezing it which is meh, annoying. It's the uh, concealer cream and this is in the same shade I think. This is 0.5 fluid ounce, so literally half as much as in the foundation, which is normal. This is what it looks like, so I think it's really cute. You can see the colour down here. Yeah, it's in the same colour, so this is Duchess. Yeah, I think this is a squeezy tube, yeah. I think, the, like I say, the packaging is just beautiful, and it doesn't feel cheap or look cheap or... You know, it's a really nice thing, like good quality, and they've definitely thought about every little thing. Next, I'm going to go with the eyeliner. This eyeliner I've already checked out and I didn't think it'd be what it was. At first I thought, wow, that's a really thick eyeliner, look at that. Um, it's the Perfect Winged Eyeliner, and basically what it is, on one end, I just opened this end thinking, oh my God, how am I gonna apply eyeliner with that, okay? And then I open this end, and it's the wing, and I was like, eh? Eh, <laughs> like, con, like what? Stunned and amazed and excited to try it out. Then we have the velvet lip creams. I have two. I have one in Candy Apple and one in Merlot Kiss. I'm gonna kind of show you the colours. I did test these out on the back of my hand because I couldn't wait. These are like a click formula so you click it and it's like a little thick thing on the end of this colour. Ah, I'm so excited. So that's everything in the box. Um, so yeah I'm gonna do a little makeup review and See how it goes. Okay, so I've done my eyebrows because it's just easier and I'm gonna go onto the foundation first. I'm gonna do foundation first and I've got the little beauty blender. I have uh, dampened it and it went to double its size and it's amazingly soft, honestly. So I'm a bit, I'm gonna start using the beauty blender straight away. Okay, so I don't usually just use a beauty blender to blend out my foundation. Usually I use a uh, brush and then go over it with a beauty blender. Uh, however, I am trying something new. Okay, the beauty blender is working really well actually. I really like it. The foundation is nice, but it's not as full coverage as I thought it was gonna be. Now I look like a peanut butter baby. I really like it. It feels really thin. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything. Oh, I've only just looked at the beauty blender though. I do really like the beauty blender, however, it's not a good... The foundation is really light coverage, and I'm guessing we could build it up, but I don't want to. I kind of just want to use a concealer and see how it goes. Um, it isn't a heavy coverage, it's not full coverage. I'd say it's a light coverage, but you could build it up. But you know what? It looks really nice on the skin, actually. Okay, now the foundation's all blended out, I'm going to use the concealer, and because it's the same colour, it is meant to be full coverage, however. I'm just gonna put it where I usually put concealer. Is that Beauty Blender to blend it out? Okay, yeah, this concealer, yeah. This concealer does exactly what it says. It's definitely full coverage, you can tell, but it doesn't look cakey. Yeah, this concealer is gonna be one of my favorites. I think, I think I'm gonna end up using this as a foundation rather than concealer. It is a bit thicker than the foundation, but it is a really nice coverage. And this beauty blender is just killing it right now. This is going to be my new favourite thing, honestly. Okay, so concealer is definitely a lot better than the foundation. It's a lot more full coverage. So if you really do want that good coverage, please get the concealer as well as the foundation. Um, because it is really nice. However, if you do like a really light coverage foundation, just get it, honestly. Because I bet it is buildable. I'm not going to build it up just for the sake of this video. However, usually I would put another layer on of it. But you know what, after I put that concealer over, I don't need another layer because I do like it to be a lot more natural over here on the end of my chin, like here. Okay, yes, yeah, slay. I'm going to go off camera and set this and put some bronzer on and I'll be back. Okay, so I put some bronzer on and I've decided I really do like the foundation and concealer. The texture of my skin 
looks flawless. My nose, usually it's peeling by now. It's a really moisturised one. The powder went on so well and the bronzer was so easy to bronze. I know, and I used a really good bronzer. However, with some foundations, I used the Huber bronzer, but sometimes with some foundations, it does get a bit streaky and a bit meh. It blended really well and I'm really happy with it. Okay, let's get on to some blush. I didn't use, I know I said I was going to use the blush brush that came with for powder. However, because this is a review and it says it's a blush brush, today I'm going to use it as a blush brush. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with this one. Like I said before, it's a really beautiful colour. So I'm just going to tap my brush in it and just brush it along my cheeks. Got a really nice sheen to it. If you like matte blushes, I wouldn't opt for this. However, the brush is really nice, it's so soft, it's beautiful. As you can tell, it is a really cute blusher. Yeah, I do think this brush would be better for powder as it is so soft. But, this blusher is really cute and I think it will be in my everyday makeup routine. These blushes is a definite yes for me. It's really cute. It just adds that little bit of a sheen as well before your highlight. But I always find that a sheen in a blush also helps when you're blending out your highlight because it's not just all at once. You still got that little thing underneath. The things I've got left is the eyeliner and the lipstick. I'm going to do a bit of eyeshadow and then I'll be back to do that eyeliner. Okay, so I've put a little bit of eyeshadow on because I don't really want a lot on today. But I'm going to dip straight into this eyeliner. I've not used winged eyeliner for a while and I am really good at doing the wing without any help or like tape or anything. So I, this isn't really necessary for me but because of the video I, I'm going to try it out. <gasps> I'm scared because this could literally ruin the whole makeup look. I hope it doesn't but it could. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to concentrate. I'm not going to talk until I've finished because if not, it's just going to go awful because I really do need to concentrate. Okay, that's actually a really cute wing. I'm going to do the same on the other side. I know it's not filled in fully, however, I am going to do that because with the other side because I'm really scared. But I just need to get... Do you know what? They're really even. And that was so easy to do. I just really hope this isn't too thick. So I'm going to pull it across my lash line and do it. I am so impressed with that. If you aren't good at eyeliner, honestly, go and buy yourself one of these. Because this is the best eyeliner I've ever used. It's so black. Look, there's no streakiness at all. The wings, literally, it's so black so happy about that yeah, i'm gonna do a bit of touch up um because the last thing i've got left is the lipsticks i'm gonna try them both on just for you guys but i'm gonna do a few little things I'm gonna pop some eyelashes on put some highlighter on and i'll be back okay so eyelashes are on let's try some lipsticks i think first i'm gonna try the red one because i think i'm actually gonna wear the nude one today um this is candy apple it's a push and i've just tried to twist it so that's really fun do you know what I really like that. It's matte, but it's not a liquid lipstick. It's like a cream. So, it feels like I've got lip balm on, not a lipstick. I really like that. It's not patchy. It was I'm awful at applying lipstick actually on my lip line. And I've done a really good job. So, I'm happy with that. Okay, so I put some foundation over my lips. It's like a clear base. I always do this when I put lipstick on. So do not worry. Um, I'm using the shade Merlot Kiss. Let's go. Okay, so this is Merlot Kiss. I actually really like this colour. It's really close to my actual lip colour. So I'm really happy with that. Okay, all, out of all these products, I think my favourite would be the concealer because it's absolutely amazing. Honestly, and the eyeliner as well. So I think the concealer and the eyeliner are my favourite. So if you really, really have to get two products, get these two because honestly, you will not regret it. However, everything is amazing. The Beauty Blender blew me away, honestly. Um, yeah, if you do like like coverage, foundation is really good. So yeah, um, overall, I'm really happy with every single product. Thin Lizzy, please go and check out the website because honestly, you will not regret it. The products are amazing and this is my first impression of everything. Honestly, I've never tried it before. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed filming it. Thank you so much Thin Lizzy for helping me create this video and sending me your beautiful products and honestly, I'm so grateful. Um, 
yeah go and follow thin lizzie on instagram and go and check out their website they have some of the best products i've ever seen so yeah please go and check them out thank you so much for watching bye